Tatras is a character in Greek mythology. Like Chaos and Gia, Mother Earth, Tatras was a formidable deity in Greek mythology. Tatras was the infernal region of ancient Greek mythology, the lowest of the two parts of the underworld, where the gods imprison their enemies. Tatras is also described as a deep abyss, used to as a tumult and surfing dungeon for the wicked, and as a titan prison. Many of the primordial deities who existed in ancient Greece appeared to be popular, with Tatras being one of the most requested. There has always been debate about whether the primordial deities were actually physical beings or the manifestation and the personification of ideas and places. The exact Tatras that came to be is something that varies depending on the source. Tatras, according to Isoid, was the third primordial deity after Chaos and Gia. Tatras, he believes, is also the father of Monster, Typhoon. Tatras was the deity and a place in the underworld in ancient known folk tales. He was also thought to be the first act to exist, and it was from him that lights and the cosmos were born. Let's look at the distinction between Tatras and Hades, the underworld. Tatras in the underworld. Tatras, the location, is located deep beneath the earth, even deeper than Hades. Tatras and the underworld are often confused as the same location. But Tatras is not the same as the Underworld, which does indeed emerge from Hades in some places. The simplest distinction between Tatras and Hades is that it's the place of the dead where they go to rest or be punished after being judged by Asos, Minos, and Roma Amas. According to Plato, these three judges decide the fate of those in Hades as well as those who go to Tatras. Tatras over time became a place for those who committed unspeakable acts against the gods of humanity, it essentially became a prison. The first mention of this is when Kronos rose to power as the Titan King. He immediately imprisoned the Hexatonaries and Cyclops in Tatras because he believed they could harm him. Kronos would then place a dragon outside Tatras' entrance to serve as a guard, but Zeus would kill this dragon when he visited Tatras to free his prisoners and asked for their help during the war. When Zeus and his fellow Olympians eventually triumphed, Tatras would serve as prison for many times. Kings were cast into Tatras in ancient Greece. With the Greek people unable to punish their kings, the task would fall to the gods and goddesses, who would intervene and send the gifts to Tatras. Tantalus, who killed his son and later served him to the gods during a feast, was one of the fallen kings as was King Nixion, who pushed his father-in-law into a bed. There is no single correct answer regarding primordial beings, as most of it is based on personal interpretations. So regard Tatras as a world deepest region, the prison of the damned, while others regard him as the deity who represents the region's self, but they all refer to the same being, a deep dark abyss on which few will ever return. Tatras as a deity was the third most powerful deity of the chaos of the first deity and Gia of Earth. The union of Tatras and Gia resulted in the creation of Eshenda, the mother of all monsters, who was created as a hybrid of a woman and a snake. Typhoid was also born in Tatras, her values union. Typhoid was the father of all monsters, with fire flashing eyes and a winged body. The lower half of his body was made of enormous viper coils that stretched to the top of his head and hissed. When Typhons and Inchadar emerged, they created some of the world's most ferocious monsters, the Cerberus, the Hydra, the main lion, the massive lion that terrorized the land of Animir, the Chimera, the Symphings, and the Caucasian Eagle were among these creatures. Tatras was in charge of transporting sinner souls from Earth to Hell and was betrayed as a pit where these souls would be punished indefinitely. According to the ancient Greek sources, the information on Tatras as a god is limited because most people thought the term represented a hell pit. According to Greek ideologists, a bronze anvil dropped from the earth would take about nine days to reach Tatras. Sovereign deities such as Arrhenius 
uses tasks to imprison those who plotted against them, including their children, Cyclops and Chronos, and other mythical creatures live in Tatras, Prometheus and King Cyphers, King Tantalus, Exion, the Nalais, and the Giants, Titles and King Salmoth are among the Titans. Each of these inmates is linked to heinous crimes that resulted in varying degrees of punishment in Tatras. Tatras was also used to confine any being that posted a threat to the gods of Olympus, according to the oldest Greek mythologies. The judge who determined which souls would be sent to Tatras is said to be rather Morpheus and Minus. Agrippatus was the Asian judge, Aetus was the Arabian judge, and Minus was the Greek judge. Tatras can be reduced to a dungeon or prison for those who are too powerful to be subjected to traditional methods of punishment. Tatras is an intriguing subject. I'd like to hear a thoughts on it. Do you consider him to be a deity, or a location, or both? The next video talks about Cain, the son of the fallen angel, Azazel. Watch the video now, it's on your screen.